Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem. We have x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 equals 36. Remember we want to solve this problem completely. So we'll take 36 to the left. So we have x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 minus 36 equal to 0. And by looking at this, it's very difficult or almost impossible to factorize. So what we'll do is trying to split this 36 okay, into 2 like this so that we can group and factorize. So I'm going to write x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 minus i will open bracket now because i have x to the power of 3 i will pick out a number from 36 that can be written to the power of 3 right and the number will be 27 then plus 27 out of 36 will give um, 9 so this will be equal to 0 so if you bring this put these two together you will still have 36 right so x to the power of 3 plus x squared open this bracket with a negative so we have negative 27 negative 9 and this will be equal to 0 now what do i do from here we are going to group them because this can be expressed to the power of 3 right so bring this and this together and this can be expressed to the power of 2 you will combine these two as well so i'm going to have x to the power of 3 minus 27 i will deal with this separately then i'll have plus x to the power of 2 minus 9 i will deal with this separately and everything is equal to 0 right and then from here what again can i do i can write 27 in index form so x to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3 is what we have then in the second we have x to the power of 2 minus 3 to the power of 2 and everything is equal to 0 and from here we're going to apply a standard to this right because if you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 this is equal to a minus b right then we open bracket again to get a squared plus a b plus b squared right so this is for this term alone so we're going to apply that right away so that a minus b becomes x minus 3 we have x minus 3 close this then a squared is x squared plus a b that would be 3 x 3 times x that is 3 x then plus b squared will now be 3 squared right close this again then plus i'll go to the second bracket where i will um, apply difference of two squares so i'm going to apply difference of two squares here because of this and we'll have x minus 3 into x plus 3 now everything here is equal to 0 and then there is already a common factor which is x minus 3 here and here so factor it out x minus 3 we open this then in here i will have this which is um x squared plus 3x plus 9 okay then plus here now we are having x plus 3 if you like have it, have it um in brackets or you write it openly like this is okay so this is equal to 0 now what can i do you're not multiplying this and this because of this addition so you can add what you have here and what you have over there okay so x minus 3 is here and then here we have um, x squared plus 3x plus x will give us 4x then plus 3 
Okay, 9 plus 3, right? And that is giving us some um, 12. So here I have 12. And then this is equal to 0. What again can I do? I should apply 0 product rule. So that x minus 3 is equal to 0. Or x squared plus 4x plus 12 is equal to 0 x here is equal to 0 plus 3 and that will give us 3 so this becomes the first value of x to get the other value of x i'm going to pick this quadratic equation which is x squared plus 4x plus 12 equal to 0 so we're going to deal with this right and we are going to use this formula to deal with it what is the formula again? We have x to be equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac. And this is all over 2a. Right? So x is equal to, in place of minus b, we have minus 4. Then plus or minus, we have 4 squared. Minus 4 times a, 1 times um c which is 12 so this is over 2 times 1 then to proceed we have x equal to minus 4 plus or minus then we have um 16 minus 4 times 1 times 12 will give us 48 and all of this is over 2 we will still continue so that x is equal to minus 4 plus or minus we have square root of 16 minus 48 will give us negative 32 and this is all over 2 now to continue our x is equal to minus 4 plus or minus we have square root of 32 then square root of negative 1 okay i was trying to separate the negative from what we have there and then to continue with this, oh, remember this is still over 2, right? Now, we have our x to be equal to negative 4 plus or minus square root of um, 16 times 2. 16 times 2 is 32, right? Multiply by square root of negative 1. And all of this is over 2. Let us continue. So, from here x is equal to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16 will give us 4 then we have 4 root 2 then multiply by square root of negative 1 is imaginary so we write i and this is all over 2 now this can go there and the same 2 can also go there so x will now be equal to minus 2 plus or minus we have 2 root 2, then times i. Now you can rearrange this and get x to be equal to minus 2 plus or minus. We have 2i square root of 2. So from here we have 2 in one solution. Now let's bring the three solutions together. We have x, which is equal to 3 as our first solution, called this x1 x2 is equal to minus 2 plus or minus okay we're using positive now because we want to separate it we have 2i root 2 and then our x3 is minus 2 minus 2i square root of 2 so these are the three values of x